everyone. Welcome back to the shortstorypodcast.com, where you hear a fast-paced short story and get a quick writing tip afterward. I'm your host, J.B. Wachowski, with the ghoulish Halloween tale. And now for this week's short story, episode 33, Ghoul Scout Cookies. Always on Halloween, the ghoul scouts deliver their ladyfinger cookies to those little monsters who pay the price, it seems. We were sitting at home watching horror movies this Halloween night. At first, we heard a scratching sound and then a knocking on our front door. Being little ghouls, we did not respond. Instead, we hid behind our sofa, fearing the bump in the night, which was now at our front door. We all cried out in unison. What if there's an angry mob outside or a monster demon wanting to hurt us so badly? Or maybe it's a werewolf scratching on our door wanting to shred us completely. Oh my! Wait, perhaps it's no one at all. Maybe it's a tree branch scraping and knocking against the door in the wind. The rattling and tapping turned into a loud pounding on our front door. We shivered some more as everyone in the house now awoke. Papa came running downstairs, heading for our front door. As he grabbed the handle, we all screamed, Don't open the door! It's a demon come to dement us all! Braver than us, he unbolted the door and turned the doorknob to find out what it was all about, now bashing against our front door. Getting to undo the chain latch, the door banged to a halt an inch from his drooling face. A creepy hand shoved the squished up box between door and door frame before its owner ran off into this Halloween night. Father gingerly picked up the crumpled box to find out what was within. Upon opening it, he grimaced. Disgusting. There are only eight lady fingers, he exclaimed. Horrible. I ordered ten fingers, and there's not even a thumb inside. Then nibbling the tip of one red-painted fingernail, he asked, does anyone want a lady finger, my little ghouls? We all jumped out and grabbed one, then begged for more. He sighed and slyly grinned. I guess the takeout did not work out so well tonight. We all nodded in agreement as he said, I guess I'll have to pick up some myself. I'll be back with more in a short while. As he headed out the door to hunt down more lady fingers, we heard him say, I wonder if that ghoul scout is still in the neighborhood. It had some tasty-looking fingers when it popped in that box. The end. Today's quick writing tip. Where do story ideas come from? Too many people overanalyze and try to systematize their creative process. As a result, they often get writer's block when they sit down to write. An idea can hit you at any time. Do not worry if a good idea vanishes. If driving, be safe. Park your car on your phone. Type a quick note or calendar reminder to yourself. Use a few keywords to help you remember. Also, texting or emailing yourself will help you retain your story ideas and thoughts longer. I hope this quick writing tip helps you. Okay, that's a wrap. Thank you for listening to this episode of the shortstorypodcast.com. So you don't miss out on an episode, please take a moment to subscribe to the show and leave a nice review. Thank you for listening and have a great day. 